Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Learn with Pritha. This is my third video in the series of cracking the job interview. So if you have not seen my other two videos, you may visit the i button above or go to the link in the description box to watch those two videos. This video is exclusively on how to answer the most important question asked in an interview, whether it's for experienced people or for freshers. Tell me about yourself. Yes, this is the most common sure shot question to be asked. It may be asked in different formats. They may ask you, tell me about yourself. They may ask you, take us through your profile. They may ask you, introduce yourself. They may say, take us through your resume. It could be in terms of any terminology, but the intention of the question remains the same. So let's understand that what is the intention of an interviewer for asking this question or why is this question asked in every interview? Well, when this question is asked, tell us about yourself. Interviewer has two major intentions in mind. Number one, interviewer want to know who you are, what's your attitude, what are your priorities in life, who you are as a person. And the second intention is to understand if you are a good fit for the job. Apart from these two major intentions, the interviewer also has certain minor intentions in mind. Interviewer is trying to give you some time to make yourself comfortable. Since this is the question assumed to be the easiest question, it's about you. And it is assumed that you are knowing about yourself well. At the same time, interviewer is trying to build a bond with the interviewee. This is also the question in 90% of the cases decides the future flow of your interview. 90% of the candidate gets rejected or selected on the basis of this question. So you can know very well how important it is to understand why this question is asked and how should you answer this question. This question need to be answered in a particular structured way. To tell you a secret, when I gave my first interview, I was very confident that I'll be able to answer this question. After all, it's about me. But when I sat in the interview and this question was asked, I was thinking, should I tell this? Should I include this? How should I begin my introduction? Oh, how long should it be? What should be the format? That is the reason you may know about yourself, but if you haven't planned the structure of this answer, if you haven't planned the flow of this answer, you won't be able to do justice and you won't be able to make your first impression. This question helps you to build your first impression. And we all know that first impression is the last impression. So I'm sure you would like to make this impression as good and awesome as possible. So in order to make it awesome, I will tell you what should be the structure of the answer of this question. You may do a little twist as per your requirement, as per your choices and priorities, but the basic framework can be of this kind. First thing that you must include in your introduction or answer to this question is your greetings. If the interview is before 12 p.m., then you may say good morning. If it is between 12 p.m. to 5 p.m., then it's good afternoon and post 5 p.m., it's good evening. Once you have greeted the interview panel or the person who's taking your interview, then you must thank that person. Now, it depends. Suppose this is the second round, then you may say that, you know, thank you so much for shortlisting me in the first round and giving me the opportunity to attend the second round. If this is the first round, you may say thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to express myself and to share about me. It can be in any format, but you must thank them for giving you an opportunity to attend this. Second, you must tell them your name. Now, you may assume that Come on, they already know my name, everything is there in the resume. And in fact, they may say, hey, Rahul, tell me about yourself. So that itself indicates that they know my name. 
whatever it is whether they know your name or they don't know but there is a formal way of introducing yourself and it is expected that you introduce yourself in the similar manner so you will have to introduce yourself by telling your name you can say i am rahul khanna you may say my name is suhail khan but the biggest mistake that people do in introducing themselves is they use a term called myself it is a big no for myself myself is a possessive pronoun and it is assumed the moment you use this that means you are talking in a very selfish way so you should never use myself don't say myself rahul myself preeti rule that need to be kept in mind when you are answering this is that you must have smile on your face and you should feel proud to tell your name after all you are proud of yourself so by telling your name you are saying you are proud of this person also many people ask that should they be telling their full name or just the first name you should always introduce yourself with full name don't say your first name only and do not add mr or miss or mrs in front of your name when you are introducing yourself third tell them about the place from where you have come so place can be told in just one line that i belong to say agra i belong to delhi or i am from bombay or i am resident of chennai these are the way to tell about the place to which you belong now in case you belong to a place which is a smaller place and it may not be very popular and not known to everyone then what you can do is suppose you belong to a place called itonja in uttar pradesh so instead of just saying i belong to itonja you can say i belong to itonja uttar pradesh so you can tell the name of that specific place which you think may not be known and then add on the name of the major city or the city which is near that place so that people are able to get related to the actual place to which you belong Fourth, about the family you should tell them about your family but if you are a fresher it is must for you to tell them about your family in one line or two line however if you are an experienced professional you can skip this if you want because you already have so much to talk about about your professional experience about your skill sets etc so you may skip this step now when you are telling about this family as a fresher you may just say that apart from my parents and grandparents i have two siblings do not get into the history of my sister is in class 3 my brother is in class 9th they study in this school they are very naughty they want to play this game they watch this so do not go or my uncle is an ips officer don't go into the details of this they are not interested in knowing about it number 5 qualification now from number 5 till the last whatever headings whatever uh, subheads that i'm going to talk about are basically indicating towards identifying your qualification or your fitment for the job so you need to tell about your qualification you can tell about your qualification but always remember that no abbreviation should be used for example i am bba from nims do not use such abbreviations you can say that i am doing or i have completed my bachelor of business administration from new delhi institute of management sciences or whatever is the full form of your institute in case it's a very popular college you must ensure that you take the name of the college and in case you feel that it's not a popular college it's just an average college you may ignore it now if you are a fresher since you do not have much to talk about so when you are introducing yourself in terms of qualification you may say that i am doing my bachelor of engineering with focus on machine drawing or you may say i am doing my law with focus on cyber crimes 
or you may say i am doing my masters of business administration with focus on entrepreneurship so that tells a bit more about yourself and it helps to differentiate yourself from the rest of thousands of candidate who are sitting outside and they are having the similar qualification like you Sixth is your additional skill set or your additional qualification. Now this includes something which is outside your regular curriculum of your professional course that you're doing or your degree course that you're doing. So it can be like you have learned some other languages, you can talk about it, you can say that I have done certification course in German and French. Or if you've done a project in the engineering side itself and it involved certain skill set, certain technology, then you can talk about that. Recently, I did a six month project from XYZ organization, which was based on cloud computing. So you can talk about your projects, you can talk about your extra certifications if you are a fresher and if you are a professional and definitely you might have done a lot of certifications solid uh, additional qualification then you can talk about it seventh is experience so if you are an experienced professional then definitely you have lot of things to talk about so you can pick up the recent one and then move in the backward direction and give a little little brief introduction about whatever has been your experience but if you are a fresher then don't be upset you can be very honest in telling them that you are a fresher however you have done certain courses certain skill sets are acquired during your four years three years of degree course and you can quote those skill set like any particular languages java dotnet or if you have done any certification in tally for the accounting or if you have done any certification in terms of risk management or you have done any certification in terms of understanding particular labor laws etc so you can talk about them as your experience and you can tell them that these are the theoretical exposure that i've got but i'm sure they'll help me to get into my working mode and i'll be able to understand them better with these basics being already built through these certifications or courses eighth is achievements now if you are an experienced professional then i'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about and you might have done a lot of justice to your profession till now you may have seven eight ten achievements so don't be pompous don't be superlative in terms of telling everything because you feel that hey i have been a great achiever you can pick up two three best of your achievements and talk about them for example if you're a sales manager you're giving an interview for the sales manager position then you may say that i have been a sales manager for past seven years i have led a team of eight people and our team has been able to back the best sales team award for last two consecutive years so that itself talks about how well you have been doing as sales manager how well you have been doing as a team player and how well you have been doing as a leader to guide your team whenever you're talking about your achievement don't sound egoist don't sound as if you're the best sales manager on this earth and no one else Else. I mean your team would have not won this award if you were not there try to show that you have many other qualities and try to be humble but at the same time putting it in front of them that yes these are the achievements that are part of my professional career till now if you are a fresher then definitely you will not have professional achievements so if you have done a project and probably there were many other interns over there or there were many other people who were part of this project and you were given the best candidate for the project then you can talk about it or if you have been a good rank holder then you can say that um, i'm happy to tell you or i'm happy to share that i have been among the first five rank holders of my college throughout my academic career throughout my academic life so you can highlight that or if you have done something which talks about your any award any recognition which is worth mentioning there is something which you've done as part of a club leader as part of a club in charge you've done something as part of your college life and it is worth mentioning then only please mention ninth is hobby now it is very important for you to also prepare for this question it is believed that if you have a hobby if you have a passion that means you 
take interest in life and hobby gives you time to rejuvenate yourself gives you time to refill yourself with lots of energy and it is very much required in today's scenario where people are too stressed too anxious so if you have any hobby which you feel is relevant to the job profile then definitely you need to tell but if there is any hobby which you feel is not relevant but can be indirectly talked about as a skill then you can always mention that for example you may say that i am very passionate about keeping myself fit and i do gymming every day i do gymming every day without fail because i believe that discipline in life is very important and if i have promised to myself that i'll do it every day then i ensure that i do it every day so gymming may not be related to the job profile that you have applied but on the other hand you have told them that you are very disciplined once you decide on something you stick to it you are very focused and that itself will be an added advantage so you can talk about other hobbies like if you think you are very passionate about coding and this project or this job is into coding then definitely you need to talk about it you might be very very passionate about taking care of animals and it is nowhere related to the job that you are talking about but then you can derive that i believe that every individual has emotion individual whether a human being or an animal should be treated well because after all we are part of this earth as a family so by telling this you are telling them that you are empathetic you are telling them that you care for others and indirectly are telling them that i will prove to be a good team leader so these are various ways in which you can portray yourself few basic tips that you need to keep in mind is that when you are going for an interview you must have read the job description very well because there are many vocabulary many terminology that you can pick up from there and use when you are describing yourself second try to use as many adjectives as possible but those adjectives should be a real applicable adjectives for your life for example when you're introducing and you're telling your name you may say i am rahul khanna a firm believer in where there is a will there is a way so you've quoted a quality of yours but you have very well used it during your normal course of discussion so that will make them understand that you're very well aware of your own potentials you're very well aware of your own qualities adjectives like vibrant energetic flexible collaborative empathetic open for challenges so these are certain things team player these are certain adjectives that can be used whenever possible to talk about your personality because corporates are looking for these kind of people sometimes when people go for interview and if they are not very good in english then it becomes a challenge for them and they start believing over here that after all there are so many candidate who can speak so well so definitely their probability is less please understand an interviewer is not going to judge you for your grammar is not going to judge you for your hard pure english until unless the job is of a english tutor of an english faculty or a communication trainer or a communication head they are just trying to see that you are able to communicate yourself you are able to express yourself and you will be able to work in a team environment where you have to do a lot of interaction with people and majority of interaction these days definitely happens in english if you do few errors small errors here and there in terms of grammar it hardly matters i'll tell you one thing you can always hide this by portraying other characteristics of yours be confident look into the eyes of the recruiter build a bond with the recruiter show that whatever you're saying is true tell them that you are an honest person you have confidence in yourself and you are passionate about working with them that itself will suppress any other error that you commit and it will be the highlight of the interview so i am sure you are going to benefit from these tips if you like my video hit the like button 
subscribe, press the bell icon and don't forget to mention in the comment box that which other topic you would like me to take up in order to continue our series of learning. Till then, stay happy, stay healthy and go and grab your dream job.